Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel for a brand new series about the Sims 4 Realm of Magic. Whew, for those of you who haven't been here before, my name is Kara and um, I kind of run the show around here. <laughs> so gosh, wow, I haven't made a video in like two weeks almost and sorry for the radio silence. I got really sick last week and just was so energetically drained and I just couldn't bring myself to make a video until this game came out. And of course I had to jump in game right away. So we are finally here. Realm of Magic is available worldwide for download. And oh my gosh, you guys, I, I'm just so excited. I really, I haven't played it all yet. I mean, I jumped into Kaz to make um, our sim here, which I'll tell you about her in just a minute. And um, that's about it. I haven't even like explored the world or anything. I did watch the live stream that the gurus put on and I've watched a few videos here and there that the um, EA Game Changers have put up as early access content. But honestly, I wanted to kind of keep the actual gameplay a little bit of a surprise for myself because sometimes I feel like when I, you know, I'll just sit there and watch it for hours and hours and hours. And it's just, it's sometimes it's fun to kind of get in there and figure it out yourself. But anyways, we are in the brand new world of Glimmerbrook and it's raining right now. I started it in the fall season because I thought that would be a pretty season for this world. And so far, it's just a little wet. Um, it reminds me a lot of Granite Falls. It's very beautiful, though. It's a lot more detailed than Granite Falls. That's for sure. This nice little um, battling brook going through the world is a nice touch. And I moved in my sim for this LP into, it's an empty lot, the only empty lot in the world. And I just popped this little cottage down from the gallery. I believe it was by um, Chrissy YT or something like that. Beautiful little cottage. Perfect. I believe it was only 18,000 too. So it sh it's a starter home. Perfect for um, my sim. Speaking of my sim, let me tell you a little bit about her. I'm honestly really excited for her story. I truthfully had no idea what I was going to do with this LP. I was trying to think of like a story or a backstory or a plot for like weeks ever since it was announced because I knew I wanted to do something with it and I could not think of anything. And then I launched the game, you know, I totally vanilla, like didn't put my mods and I was just testing it. And I go into Kaz to make a sim for a new game save and I did the little quiz and I kind of had an idea of how I wanted to answer them. And then it spit me out the sim that you see here. I mean, obviously not aesthetically, but like her traits and um, her career. Well, I did change her traits a little bit. Shh, don't tell. <laughs> her career, all that stuff. But anyways, I used the story feature to create her. And then from that, I kind of developed her backstory. And without further ado, let me introduce you to Rin Snow. Or at least that's what she says her name is. Rin Snow is a criminal. She works with organized crime. She is a ringleader of a group of criminals, and she actually got her start in Selva Dorada. She has a decent skill in Selva Dorada and culture. She and her, her group, her gang, if you want to call them that, would travel to Selva Dorada and raid the tombs and steal artifacts and sell them on the black market. And while she was out there in the jungle and talking to the locals and learning all about these tombs that her and her people would go and raid, she would hear really compelling stories, like folk tales, she thought, about magic. And, you know, at first she thought it was totally just, you know, BS like that. There's no way that that is real, right? But the more she talked to the, the locals there, and particularly the elders, the more convinced she became that there was something more out there. And she took to her computer to do research, and she met with others who spoke of, you know, these strange tales that it just didn't seem to add up. And the more she learned, the more she uncovered. And eventually, the name Glimmerbrook popped up onto the scene. So here she is. She has come to Glimmerbrook because she has heard and read and all signs point to this town being the source of all these strange folk tales that the Selvadoradian elders and other elders of, 
you know, different cultures around the globe have shared with her, you know, in her very deep research of the subject. And you might be wondering, why would she be interested in magic? Well, from Ren's point of view, magic can only help her criminal endeavors. I mean, if you're magical and you can, you know, if someone catches you in the act of doing something, you can turn them into a gnome or you can set them on fire. Like, there's just so much that she thinks that it will help her with her cause and with her goals. And, you know, she really wants to be a criminal mastermind one day. And she, that is her goal. And, you know, you can see she has her um, tools of espionage here. And we also have her bag of cash, which is, you know, how she afforded this place and still has quite a pretty penny left over, as you can see. Of course, it's, uh, you know, not exactly her money, but, you know, who, who's who's judging here, right? But anyways, Rin Snow. She is, she is something else, you guys. She is absolutely crazy. So her aspiration actually is not to become a spellcaster. But you know what? Let's jump into that real quick because I can kind of show that off to you and show it off to myself because I haven't really um, looked at it. <laughs> Let's see. Where is it? It's probably under knowledge, I would imagine. Yeah, spellcraft and sorcery. This is the new aspiration that comes with this game pack. And it looks like you have to become a spellcaster, travel to the realm, learn spells, cast spells, win duels. And yeah, just educate yourself about being a spellcaster. And that is kind of supposed to lead you through the game pack and the progression. And honestly, I might change her aspiration to this temporarily because this is kind of her current life aspiration. I mean, ultimately she does want to be the public enemy. Like she wants to be the top dog villain. Like she thoughts that it, it might seem weird <laughs> to most, hopefully all of us. It seems a little weird. But it's what she wants. And you know what? Who are we to judge? <laughs> so I'm actually going to go ahead and change that aspiration um, so we can explore the new one. And just because I feel like it's really fitting for her and where she's at right now with her goals. So because this is exactly what she wants to do. So she has been on her computer all morning long on this rainy Sunday morning. She's off work for the next few days. And she is trying to figure out like, okay, I'm here. Now what? And so she is, let me make sure I have autonomy on real quick. Gameplay, autonomy, there we go. Auto age, yeah, let's auto age. And um, I guess normal is fine. Yep, that sounds good. Okay, so we're gonna let her continue to do her research and I kinda wanna poke around this world. I kinda wish it would stop raining, but it's honestly beautiful. Like look at that and the way the water is just flowing. This is really, really nice. And of course, this is what Rin is currently researching and trying to figure out how to find. To be fair, it's like really not that hidden. It's like down the street from her house. So it probably won't take her too long before she figures it out. But oh my gosh, these views, you guys. I wish we could live down there. That would be super cool, like a hermit. Yeah, this world is stunning. It feels like an extension, like a livable extension of Granite Falls, which is nice because I love that world. But of course, it's just a vacation world. And then like the more central area of the town is over here. I believe this is the bar. No, that is another empty lot. The bar is over there, actually. Looks like Ren just um, upgraded her mischief skill. Good for her. Yeah, so this is the bar. We might have to check this out at some point. It looks kind of um, quaint. Also, the mismatched roof texture. I just watched um, Little Sims' video all about that. <laughs> okay, it looks like the rain has stopped, and it looks like she's also finished her research. And she is, oh, she's playing in the rain. See, she might be a criminal and a bad lady, but sometimes she can be kind of cute. Um, oh, I guess to tell you more about her, too, her traits are self-assured, hot-headed, charming, and dastardly. Originally, when I did the story thing to create her personality, they assigned her the trait of slob, which I felt like didn't really fit. And I really wanted to be able to use my custom traits that I have. So I thought charming was 
you know, like perfect for her. Cause you know, she comes off as like, she, like look at her. She, you see her and you wouldn't think she is a criminal mastermind. Like she just looks like a nice, sweet, innocent girl, but she's not at all. She also can't play guitar, but you know, she's just, she's just trying to make a persona for herself. Like the sweet country girl who lives in an old rundown cottage on the side of the brook. She wants to be very under the radar. But we are going to have her go ahead and travel on, um, where is it? This way, down this way. We are going to, oh, who are you, Mr. Umbrella Man or woman, person, Simeon Silverwater. Okay, you kind of sound like you have a spellcastery name. Okay, I see you. We're going to follow you. Yeah, maybe that's what she sees this really suspicious guy out the window and she's like, hmm, he's going down this really strange path. I wonder what could be down there. Because, you know, she uh, she's a she's a spy guy. She's a criminal. I mean, I don't really know what she does. She definitely steals money and steals artifacts. But that's just the nature of being a criminal is what you do is never fully um, public knowledge. So she is following this guy and she's like, where on earth is he going? Like, I've never seen anyone come down here before. And he's just carrying on about his way, has no idea that this crazy blonde lady who just moved into town is following him. No one's ever seen her before. And lo and behold, oh my gosh, could this be? Could this be? But she, look at her. She looks so smug. But could this be what she's been looking for? What all the folk tales talked about? The strange portal that took you to a distant world? She's going to stay here and watch and see what happens. <gasps> and he disappeared. The strange man disappeared into this portal. That's also beautiful. Like it looks like whenever you, I don't know, like if you put like paint and water, really pretty. But either way, <laughs> Simeon Saltwater, whatever his name was, disappeared. Okay, she is going to come over and inspect this. She is really suspicious. But she's also excited because, you know, 99% certain that this is what she is looking for. So she is going to come and inspect this portal. <gasps> ah! And there she goes. Okay, the swirling vortex appears to lead to a realm beyond our own reality. Do you dare cross the threshold? Um, yes, of course we do. Enter the portal. I mean, she'd already entered it. So that question was a little bit late. Just saying. But oh my gosh, Ren has no idea what she is in for. <gasps> she has entered into, holy cow, this is beautiful. She has entered into the magic realm. And honestly, like, the adrenaline is coursing through her. I'm going to take a photo of her because she's just so cute. If you guys have watched any of my other series, well, pretty much just my upgrowth series. I'm like an annoying mom when it comes to taking photos of my Sims. I don't like that angle as much. I just am um, always at it with the camera. She's so cute. Okay. her uh, The adrenaline is just coursing through her veins right now. She's like, where... Am I? There is no way. I have to be dreaming. She's like, this is what I came here to find, and I have found it. And, like, I just, I honestly, I need to appreciate this for a second because this is beautiful. Like, oh, my God. I saw it in the, the photos, the trailer, the live stream. I've seen it in other people's videos. But this is something else entirely. And, look, I wonder if this is, like, Sim Earth down here. And we're up here in sim space. <laughs> oh my god. Seeing this like firsthand playing it on my own computer is a totally different experience. This is beautiful. I also feel like watching it on pause does not do it justice. Because like the water is falling over the edges. The Oh my god. I'm just. I'm really shook you guys. <laughs> and so is Ren over here. She has no idea. Like look at that beautiful. I want to call it a sunset. Get girl, get off your phone. This is not the time or the place. Ugh. But I want to say, look at the beautiful sunset behind her. But something tells me that that is not the sunset at all. 
So she's pretty pleased with herself. She's like, I did it. This is what I came here for. I'm so glad that all of my beliefs have been, you know, proven to be true and everything has led her to this place. And now the only question is, what the heck does she do with it? So it seems that there is, you know, she sees this big building right in front of her and it's, you know, she sees that the, this person, who are you? Why isn't your name popping up? That's rude. I want to know your name. She sees this person traveling into this building and she doesn't really see anywhere else that she can go. It seems like all the bridges are collapsing that go to the other island. So that seems like the best place to start for her because she has no idea what is happening. She almost kind of like doesn't believe this can be real. Like she has to be dreaming, right? So we're going to come into this building, which is the, like, say, the house of the three sages. Of course, Rin doesn't know that yet. And let's see what it looks like. In typical EA fashion, yeah. Typical EA fashion. It's, like, nothing to really write home about, but that's okay. You know, it it happens. I'll probably um, find a new one of these guys on the gallery. Or I might actually rebuild it myself. That could be really fun. Kind of make it into, like, a little wizarding school, like Harry Potter. (laughs) So we have like a dining, a really awkward dining area over here. Okay. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, some lady is doing magic over here. I believe this is one of the sages because she has like that emblem over her head. We have a cauldron, a bathroom, another cauldron, some another one in the basement. Lots of cauldrons is what I'm yeah, lots and lots of cauldrons. Okay. So Rin has just walked into this and no one's even really like batting an eye at her. Like no one's questioning it, which is kind of weird. It's almost like, oh, look, this is the guy we saw. It's, um, yeah, Simeon silver, silver sweater. I don't think your sweater is silver, but okay. So this is the guy that she saw and it looks like he is the sage of practical magic. So, yeah. so. <laughs> So Ren is going to come and introduce herself with a friendly introduction. She doesn't want to let on to anyone what her goals are and what her intentions are, what sort of wizard she wants or witch she wants or spellcaster, I guess, is the word we're going for. She doesn't want anyone to know what she's planning to do with these powers. Look how cute she is. I literally love her. I'm going to do the weird mom thing again and take a picture of her schmoozing with Simeon Silver Sweater say that six times fast, but nice boots. Cool. Those are some new Kaz assets. Uh, So she is going to be like, Hey, you know, I think, um, you might be my neighbor. I saw you walking through the forest over here. I didn't know where you're going. And I, I just, I followed you here and I, I just, I, what is, what is this? You know, she's kind of putting on that innocent, like, ignorant sort of facade she's trying to seem like she's spooked and like she had no idea this was lurking among the shadows of glimmerbrook and simeon here as telling her all about the magic girl you got to get more info from simeon i guess she has to go potty too so he kind of told her like this is the magic realm and honestly you weren't supposed to find it you weren't supposed to follow me but now that you're here i mean cat's kind of out of the back makoa Look at him. Makoa over here side-eyeing me. Like, excuse me, sir. Don't you have an island to go save? Okay. No, thank you, honey. Goodbye. He's like, look. He's like trying to be real sneaky, hide his identity in his little hoodie. Like, okay. You're not fooling anyone, Makoa. We know you. So she is finding about out about the magic realm from uh, Simeon here. And she, well, she's like, well, is there any way that I can learn how to do this? And he's like, well, yeah, I mean, there is, but you have to prove yourself worthy. <gasps> that lady was on a broom. How cool. Okay. So she is going to ask how to use magic. And Simeon, again, is the sage of practical magic, which is magic that is, well, of practical use. So it's things around the house and all of that good stuff. And it looks like um, Simeon has said, Learning the magical arts is a wonderful and perilous journey. Are you sure you're prepared to become a spellcaster? Um, definitely was born ready, sir. Thank you. 
So, ah, this is so cool. Hold on. I'm going to turn off her plumb bob for optimal picture taking. Headline effects off. Because there are just too many cool animations. And like, like this is so cool. And so right now, you know, she has said to Simeon, like, yes, I want to learn. I want to know what this is about. And, you know, if she had said she didn't want to, he would have had to, you know, scrap her memory of this place and tell her, you know, never come back here, basically, because the mortals are not allowed to know or non-magical because, I mean, they're technically mortal, but non-magical people are not supposed to know about this realm at all. But she said she wanted to learn and we are taking the plunge. So he gave her um, creepy, glowy eyes. Very exciting. In order to bestow the gift of magic upon you, I will need seven magical motes. I have granted you moat sight in order to see and retrieve them. Search the realm for motes and return to me quickly before the spell wears off. So Simeon has given her a task. And she has gotten temporary moat site as a moodlet. She has it for eight hours. And it says, um, while moat site is active, you can find and collect floating moats in the magic realm. Keep an eye out for them. Uh, definitely. So let's, um, oh, okay. Is it these? I think it's those. That's kind of cool. Okay. So we have to collect some of these. How many do we have to collect? I don't remember. Seven. We have to collect seven. So Ren is going to waste absolutely no time with her moat site. She's going to run out here to collect these magical moats to bring back to Simeon to prove her worthiness of learning the magic. the ma Just the magic. <laughs> the magic craft, the spell craft, the witch craft, whatever you want to call it. She wants to learn it all. And she is still keeping up her facade of innocent lady, doesn't know what she got herself into, just wants to learn a few spells to help clean the laundry. All right, so I think we're up to three now. This isn't too hard, which is good. They seem to be pretty um, close together, and they're kind of like in a pack. It's almost kind of fun chasing after them. It reminds me of that movie um, Brave, where she's chasing the will of the wisp. I feel like that's us right now. This is Rin. All right. How many do we have? Does it tell me anywhere? I don't know. I lost count, you guys. I guess we just got to keep collecting them. Ooh, this is so cool. We also need to, at some point, need to come around here and collect a bunch of collectibles because there's crystals everywhere and plants. And she has like a big space in her backyard for a garden, which is kind of cool. Okay, I only, oh, there's some more over here. We're just going to keep collecting them. We're definitely like at seven, I think, or almost. I'm just going to collect these last few and then we'll be good, I think. Wait, did I get them all? Why didn't you get that one? Okay. Oh, you know what? I bet they're going in my inventory. Yeah, cool. We already have seven. So let's jump back into this school building. Let's find Mr. Simeon. Um, where are you, sir? Simeon. Where'd he go? I mean, okay, here he is. Oh, there's also another level down here. This place is kind of spooky, especially in the basement. Okay, so we're going to come back here and turn in our moats to Simeon. We don't need these last two. We're, we're not overachievers, Rin, okay? You're just here to get the magic, to learn some spells, and do some damage. <laughs> okay. So she is turning in the magical moats to Simeon. Uh, he doesn't look too impressed. I think he's getting a little suspicious of her intentions. Like, look at her putting on this, like, fakely innocent smile. And, of course, Simeon, like, he's a good guy. He only uses magic for practical reasons. So he's probably, like, a little bit on to her. But you know what? He, she hasn't really done anything to prove him wrong. So... <laughs> she is getting the gift of, ah, this is so exciting. Oh my gosh. She is being given the gift of magic. Oh my God. She's also about to pee herself. What a great start. 
Okay, Rin is now a spellcaster. You can view her spellbook by opening her perks panel or by checking the button in this window. All right, perks panel. Here. Open spellbook. Rin's, Rin Snow's spellbook. A spellcaster is nothing without their trusty spellbook. Every incantation, ritual, and elixir that a spellcaster has learned is recorded here. A spellcaster can learn new spells and potion recipes from reading magical tomes, speaking to sages, or by practicing magic. Alrighty, you guys. This is all the stuff that she can learn. Um, definitely just she's going to want to learn mischief and untamed for sure. But we have got a long way to go. All those spells to learn all these perks to get and all while being a criminal and like using these things to wreak havoc on society. And we have become a spellcaster. We have magical powers. Ren can't believe it that this lady is um not doing so hot. Honey, you're like stuck in limbo. <laughs> you might want to get out of there. But anyways, Ren just can't believe her day, like literally day one of, of Blimmerbrook. And she follows a neighbor who happens to be a magical sage who grants her magical powers. Like, she can hardly – look at her. I mean, I know she's about to pee herself, but she can also, like, hardly believe what is happening. So, wow. What a crazy first part. Um, that was went by so fast. That was super fun. I can't wait to dive into the whole magic system and see where that takes us and our girl, Ren. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. It was a little bit long, but it was the first part of a new game pack, so whatever. But I promise I will start uploading again consistently, and I will hopefully have up another video for you guys very soon. Um, hopefully tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday. I don't know. Either way, you'll, you'll be seeing more from me and Rin here. But I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below if you have anything to share with me and make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any other parts from me. With that, I will see you guys next time. Bye y'all.